in this video, we are going to see how to add to a building a different part. All the elements that are not part of the construction itself, we are going to call them components. Okay, we can use furniture, trees, any other components that are not part of either the terrain or the building itself. In order to create it, we can go over here and we have place the component or model the place. Place the component will be in order to bring one component and add it. We can add components, uh, details, as part of our drawings, or we can add components that are furniture, tables, and any other mobility trees, people, I will not. So let's begin placing a component. So place a component is really simple. We come over here, place. Now we have on the properties all the components that we have loaded already. Okay, so in my profile we have the tables for the students. We have parking space. We have different type type of trees. Handles, wood terminations, picture frames. We're gonna begin placing one desk. Place it in the corner. Once, if we want to place another one, we can keep place in as many components of the same item that we want or escape twice to go outside. Once we have it, it has the component, it's going to be represented both in the plan and in the elevation or section. At this moment, you cannot see inside the building, so you won't be able to see it. I'm going to go for the 3D. Here, place trees on the board 
Ivy, one oak. Stage wise, I can camp to my tree selected, and it has these properties. I could even go and edit the tab and create a different type. This is just placing the component. If we go, we want to go and go farther from this. We can go and say model in place. That way we are gonna go create our own component. Model in place. I wanna select the type of component I want to build. In this case I'm gonna make a furniture. I'm gonna say okay. I'm gonna call it table. 40 by 40, let's say 20 inch high. So we have a small tail for the coffee. Okay, so I'm going to be able to create my own. This is the tool that I have to create. Extrusion and revolve, sweep, sweep and void forms. I'm gonna go first for the two easier ones. Extrusion. I wanna draw something and make a cure and make it with hand. So I'm gonna do extrusion. I have my regular tools. Line, rectangle, polygon, inscribed, subscribed, circle. So I'm gonna create a circle, zero, let's say one inch. Circle, go closer, I want it one inch radius. So I'm going to have this one. Select it, let's go back. I select it. And say OK. When I click on OK, that shape that I did is going to make it extrusion. I select finish model and now I go. I have this cylinder. Okay. I'm going to go back and edit it because I didn't finish. The only thing that I have right now is one of the legs. Okay. And I want it to be. Inches, so I'm gonna go come over here and say 20 inches high. This is one of the legs. I have two options I can do one element, or I can create several elements separate. But what I'm gonna do is I have this one, I'm gonna go with my floor plan, I'm gonna create now another solution that is gonna be the, the top of the table. Extrusion. Okay. So I'm gonna create a rectangle. That is gonna be. Okay. I'm gonna do it and then I will modify the dimensions. This is gonna be 40 inch. And on the other direction, it's gonna be again 40 inch. This is what I've written down. So this is gonna be my table top. I have a shape. The shape in all that to be extruded, they have to be always closed. So I'm gonna close it. And not yet, wait. Oh yes, let me go to the 3D and show it to you. I can modify it. So I want this table to begin. Both 
finish. Not 20 each. So this is going to be real. 20 each. They hate. But I don't want this to be 20 each height. I don't want a cube. I want a table. So I'm going to say that this began to no fun feet. 6 inch. So I'm going to have 1 feet. 6 inch. Now, um, okay. Let's say the leg has to be a bit smaller so it doesn't go over. When it comes to top, it has to be in the middle. So right now, I'm going to morph it, through the table I have one, left, and the top of it, okay, so I have one leg and the top of it. What I'm going to do is do the, the four legs, so I'm going to go on the, on the floor plan, I'm going to select my leg, and I'm going to copy. I'm gonna copy, I'm gonna go one feet, one feet, I'm gonna go 36 inches. Wait, this is outside, so I should move them. Let's move inside. So, wait a second, let's see. Okay, delete. No, not the left. Wait. What we are gonna do is delete one of it. And I'm gonna create. I'm gonna go and instead of this, I'm gonna see wireframes, but I can see all the lines. And in order to be able to place it in the proper place, I'm gonna go to create reference line. I'm gonna create different reference lines. The reference lines are lines that we use in order to create a stuff. And I'm gonna do another one that is gonna be a circle. So I'm gonna come over here and in these points where I'm gonna move my legs in order to be able to have my four legs on the right position. So I'm gonna come over here. Copy. I'm gonna copy my legs. I have four legs. In this moment, if I go to the 3D, see that I have my table with my four legs. And now that I finish my model, I can go and say finish each element. It's a different element. But the whole table is one. It's gonna be a composed of five elements, but it's gonna be the whole thing. I can either leave the reference lines or leave them there, but it's not gonna be printed, so I'm gonna leave it there. So if anyone wants to modify this table, it has the reference lines. I say finish, and now we have our own table. Here we go over here. Is our own thing. Okay. I'm gonna do just one more thing. I'm gonna load the cabinet. So I'm gonna go insert, load up to this. Kitchen cabinet. Kitchen. The kitchen cabinet. I want one. Oh, we don't have any high cabinets. Okay, then. I'm gonna go for cabinet by itself. So I'm gonna take one cabinet that can be placed up, like this one. Okay. I'm gonna load it. I'm gonna go level one. I'm gonna go insert architecture component, place component. And I'm gonna place it in the cabinet. Escape. When I touch my cabinet, I have elevation from the floor, and this is the height where I'm gonna place my cabinet. In this case, I'm gonna say, for example, that it's four feet. If I go to my 3D, I can see that this 
it's going to be the low 25 stays zero, so it will go to the floor. Alright, it stays to the feet, it will be really high. Flat, always. And that way you can put the different cabinets for the kitchen. Okay, now you have to do all the furniture that you have in the house. Good luck, enjoy the assignment.